I want to address a question we often get about dust accumulation and the effect it has on a radiant barrier. Now you may have read or seen some comments that say after a few years the radiant barrier can get so much dust that essentially it makes it worthless. And the fact is this just isn't true. You actually get a lot less dust on the radiant barrier than you would think. Now think about this for a second. In order for dust to land on the radiant barrier it has to be light enough to come into the attic floating through the air and go up through the attic then all of a sudden it's got to be heavy enough to fall on the radiant barrier. Normally if it's light enough to be floating through the air it's just going to continue on out the attic. So unless you live next to a dirt road with a lot of dirt and dust chances are you're not going to get a lot of buildup on the radiant barrier. I've been in a lot of attics over 20 years old and I'm actually always surprised at how little dust is inside the attic. However, if the top layer of the radiant barrier gets dusty it's still going to have a minimal effect on the performance of the radiant barrier. Here's why. Radiant barrier works off two qualities, reflectivity and emissivity. As the heat comes off the roof, the top layer is reflecting the heat. That's working off of reflectivity. And super perfatic foil has a reflectivity rating of 97%. So it is true, if it gets a little dusty or dirty, just like a mirror, that reflectivity rating will decrease a little bit over time. The bottom layer of the attic foil works off the quality called emissivity, or the inability to emit radiant heat. Since you gently lay the attic foil on top of the attic insulation, you're going to have minimal contact between the two. So generally you have an airspace here. This airspace is what enables the emissivity quality to exist. Let me give you an example of emissivity. If you take two hot potatoes and you wrap one with foil and one without, the potato wrapped in foil will stay hot longer because the foil does not allow it to emit as much radiant heat. Let me give you another example. This is a piece of radiant barrier decking. Basically it's a piece of OSB with a layer of aluminum foil glued on one side. And the way it works is the foil side faces down into the attic and it works off the emissivity quality just like the bottom layer of this attic foil. So as the roof deck gets hot because of the emissivity quality, it doesn't want to emit that heat or transfer that heat into the attic. So with the attic foil, if you were to get enough dust and dirt on top, essentially you would get the same effect as the radiant barrier decking. So yes, the reflectivity may decrease with a little dust and dirt on top, but the emissivity quality or the, the piece facing down will never be affected by the dust. I hope this video answered some of your questions or concerns about the effect of dust on a radiant barrier. If you have any questions or need more information, or if you'd like to get a free sample of the Super Perf Radiant Barrier, give us a call, send us an email, or visit the website, atticfoil.com.